On today's episode, we're diving straight into day four. The workout they had in the morning, conversations they had right after the workout, after breakfast, the housemates being musicians and totally entertaining us afterwards, the travel task, a bit of gossip with the real husbands of BB Niger lockdown, some couple bonds that are now forming, the arena task presentation, or rather the arena task quiz, and then the post arena banter. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If this is not your first time, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. One thing I'll ask of you, please share this video with your friends who enjoy BB Niger. If you're new here, thank you so much for coming. Please join the family. Please click the subscribe button and the bell notification beside it. Also, do a thumbs up on this video right now. <clears throat> so the workouts happened as usual in the mornings. Erica was the one who led the girls. I really focused on the girls' workout today. When Erica is so flexible, can you see this? LOL, please, what's also doing here? <laughs> after the workout everybody had breakfast and then just sat in different corners so in one of the corners was Leikon, Tolani and Lilo and they were just talking first of all it was Lilo and Tolani that were talking about how they are now merging into the house Tolani was saying she's not really open to anyone yet because she's the kind of person that needs to chill first and observe people before she starts talking too much Lilo was like well she knows why she's here you know it's for entertainment purposes so she tries to have conversations with different kinds of people though she has been spending more time with Eric Leko now came to join them and they started talking about politics and governance he, made, he just made them understand that politics and governance were two different things Lilo was quite surprised she was like ah, once you hear politics you'll be thinking of government once you hear government you're thinking of politics he now said no that politics is something that can happen in different places where people try to push an agenda when there's something that is formed while governance is actually ruling people serving people and stuff like that like obviously Tolani said yeah she got that as well that politics will be in the office blah 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 while Tony and Tricky C also talks about different travel plans that they'll do together once they leave the house within Africa and then we, the, the cameras went to the other people and then the guys Timmy and Ozo they were just listening about how they scope girls Ozo was like oh, that him when he tried to scope a girl like I said the girl is standing here and then she's going to this destination and instead of just doing like this like he'll just drop his eye in the destination and when the girl gets there he'll now scope what he wants to scope so everybody just laughing at me like yeah correct guy correct guy correct guy so while they were doing all that they called them came to join them and then at some point they stay singing and guys, Kaisha, she really impressed me yesterday because she actually made up a song for Big Big Niger House and then she like she has this song, it has a song very simple. And then she came out and started singing from nothing turns you into something. The song and uh, people were actually quite impressed. I was so proud of her. I never she has never been quiet, it's just that her diary session that day where she was feeling so down and sad and like rejected from her friends you know i felt really bad for her so she just sang and then she thought the housemates the song they sang it after her from there these guys just took over the whole a cappella something they were just singing different songs they could now start singing so he rapped his own song for a minute and then at some point people that actually played liquor song it was so amazing him. so they all kept singing tochi also rapped fino uh, he loves fino so much dora did the just a little bit song pink song and i think Likon joined her as well she really really loved the song because she just kept trying to push it and then at some point she now did it and then eric sang this nice bona boy song he kind of ended the whole thing and it was really nice you know doing everything so, here come the African giant. so while they were doing that also now came and started singing one romantic song that uh, katrina just came and started giving him one lap dance while Likon was rapping katrina now came with this two-piece outfit i remember the outfit from like season the two seasons before this one i don't know if you guys remember when cc was giving an outfit i think it was epic acquired from cross river something like it was cross river and she did not like the outfit because she didn't think that it was a party wear so she started trying to tear it at some point she didn't even wear the outfit for her party again and big brother now punished her that she was going to wear an outfit for the next party so that next party i remember them wearing parsley i remember nina and miracle actually wore parsley outfits it was designed by tiana so um Katrina now brought her own outfit. I was like, she was the one that designed CC's own, but because CC was stopped, banned from wearing an outfit, you know, she, she couldn't now wear. So her outfit would have actually been on the show two seasons ago. So I just like the way the girl was just on her bed. Like, when the girl was singing, she just came and brought the outfit, so, you know, so, you know so, and I remember. I wish I could show you guys Miracle and Nina's ones, because I totally remember that outfit. But anyway, she just brought the outfit out and then showed everybody. So when she just finished, everybody was just looking, looking, and then Lico continued his singing. But me, I was impressed, but I don't think they were. <laughs> so while they were still gathered, Praise Now came and mimicked um, Eric, I think Nengi, and 
Mama B, boss lady, yeah, he made and he got it so well. So everybody clapped for him and then they just kept playing around and stuff. They were so entertaining. I think Big Brother was even impressed because when they were done, Big Brother now started playing music. Also, during the arena task, he kind of referenced the fact that he forgave them for something which we'll go into later. So the travel task was basically for them to tell everybody where they had been to and then I think talk about the memories there. Because most of them talked about their memories in wherever they had been to. Aside Kidwaya, he didn't even, he just mentioned his places that he had been to and stopped. So I'm just going to highlight some the places some of the people had been to when i started watching it was kaisha so she said she had been to india germany and the netherlands that's um holland precisely um she just said little things about the place how germany was this how her mother forgot the passport in germany and when they, they had to go her mother had to buy everything again all the tickets again because they got to germany and they sent them back so the mother didn't want her passport to get spoiled by you know you were sent back it wasn't deported though so she made sure she bought her tickets back and they traveled again and they had a good time in india she said um the, the garlic food was just very annoying but the people were nice and then um the whole i think she really had fun there eric has just been into he hasn't been outside nigeria so he just talked about enugu niger he almost drowned in the pool in enugu that's why like now him and um, pools he can't even shout because he was top. People were telling him, ah, go inside, go inside. For him, he couldn't even feel his head again. And he swallowing water. So at some point, he just lost everything and he just saw someone carrying him. So it was really a near-death experience for him. Katrina mentioned she had been to Tanzania, Kenya, SA, and they said Maldives. And that, that Maldives, she just wanted to treat herself. So the one mad hotel for two nights and the hotel stay was about two point something million. But she left that hotel after that and then went to other places. So yeah, she sure had a fabulous time. Wathoni, obviously, Kenya and Nigeria. She's half Kenya, she's half Nigeria. So she had been there. Pray said he had been to Addis Ababa, Thailand. And there's some other side talking about places that they just um, transited from. Like, you know when you stay in the airport for like five hours or something. So they were mentioning places like that. Like, I think who did that? I think Lilo did that. V said Nigeria and UK. Anyway, yeah, that was it for most of the travels. Nothing that, that spectacular. But it was just nice. They would look at the map, point places. In oh, Nengi. Nengi's own was interesting. Because Nengi said her father, the only thing her father left her was British passport when she was three so it didn't have expired so she wanted to get it back or something and they now said she had to do Korea she now said no that this passport this is anything she has like that is so <laughs> valuable so she was going to go to UK herself so she actually went there herself renewed it got it then went to America so she said American people were so nice that in the clubs uh uh that she got there she even spent one cup but in UK story you buy your drink yourself when America is like she really really had fun but both countries were fine she said UK she was so comfortable in the UK because there was like Nigerian markets Nigerian food everywhere you just go to Shepard's but she gets everything but America was like amazing for her she didn't even want to go back she started looking for jobs going into different offices to find jobs there but I don't think that worked out so yeah she came back <laughs> okay then the real husbands of people in Nigeria lockdown so this was Eric and Anil obviously Eric is with Lilo Anil is with kind of with none of them are really with Shabo Nino and V the girl that um, is based in London so Neo was just saying oh my god he didn't really come to the house for this thing oh you know that the that V even said she was going to make a Terry studio that day Hmm, that he's just looking for anyway he knows that when people are in relationship people talk about them like if anybody's talking about v outside the house they're also talking about him people that like v will also like him so it kind of helps but almost that's what the real parole he came here for and everything but he's just looking but she's someone he likes yeah, because him if he doesn't like you and you touch his body that irritates him so and he now brought up um erica somehow that after that massage i didn't understand what she was saying like, please can you just leave erica out of this the girl wanted massage i think the next day she had said your massage was good have you so please just come down to Eric's, uh, Erica's eyes are on him, so she just please chill. He's taking a moment to just appreciate Erica's beauty, like she smiles with her whole face. Eric, him, him and obviously he likes Lilo. He didn't really talk much, but he just said obviously that they're getting along together, getting along well. After you know you guys, he asked her out the, the day before that like he wanted them to be a bit more serious. He wanted her to reduce talking about her boyfriend too much because Lilo supposedly has a boyfriend outside. So yeah, so they were sure just banting about that and then Praise came into the conversation. Praise was just angry with Katrina because of the food. I think Katrina cooks the food and then you know how she'd be saying, I'll give you one meat. You know how guys, that thing can be said to you, like when someone says, I'll give you only one meat. Stop shouting about this. And Eric cooks, guys. He actually cooks. Let me show you guys a picture of him cooking. Anywho, so yeah, that was it with the gossip. To be honest, it wasn't that much, but we're going to talk about some post task banter. Okay, so the housemates are chilling, 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 and people then I call them to the arena. Normally, we should have arena games. So the arena games for today was for them to do the quiz of getting to know each other you know they've been trying to know each other so they he separated the group into boys and girls and we're supposed to get, be against each other so girls will pick up the questions about a guy and then answer 
if they get it, they get a point. They get to get a point. So Big Brother said if they get 30 points, because I think it was 40 questions. Big Brother, like if they get 30 points as a whole unit, they win their wager for the week. So yeah, they started these games and yeah, it was quite okay. The girls obviously did better. The guys they were guessing a lot. Obviously, guys and their receptive memories. And then there are some questions that they had written in the paper but they hadn't discussed. So it caused a bit of a mess. Anyway, when the thing was over, Dora, Lilo, and Keisha all got their two questions right. Eric, Neo, and Prince didn't get any quest any of their two questions right. And Eric was so disappointed. Like he was just trying to went once they just pick the question, like you're like, oh my god, what is this? Then I start trying to guess as in someone's dog's name, someone's celebrity crush. Okay, that's not even had who whose favorite movie, you know, those kind of tricky questions that the guys struggled with. Nengi got her first question right and her second question wrong. But her first question was taken off because when Ozo came, they asked Ozo a question and then someone being ambidextrous. So the answer was actually, he was thinking about the answer and then Nengi gave him one eye because she was sitting kind of like where he was, where the podium was and the big brother saw it. We got like Nengi, big brother sees everything. Your point has been taken away. That's how Nengi lost her point. So they were gotten 11 points as girls, but he got 10 in the end. And then Ozo actually got the point for that question because he got it. And in the end, oh, before the arena task even started, big brother called Neo and bright O and said they were he was going to punish them because their mics they were having a conversation without their mics the night before immediately neo just rose <laughs> nails down and raised up his hand i guys are big i'm sorry i'm sorry so big brother now forgave them so that's why i'm like i think big brother was really impressed with the way they entertained us in the morning that's why he forgave them for that because ideally for my people i was so angry <laughs> anyway so he nullified it all they didn't lose any money from their betway wallet or anything so yeah that happened before the thing so when it was over we would have said well you guys didn't even get 30 points i think guys got seven points girls got 10 that's 17 points he obviously told them congrats but told them to better beware for the future and obviously they didn't win their wager and the girls are also going to get a treat because that was the price for winning the task so we don't know what the treat is going to be but the girls are just going to get a treat at some point later after the whole task and everything pretty well, everyone was chilling and then Tricky T was just like, also, I don't understand how come you've not even tried to toast Nengi. Like, what's happening? So, also, was like, no, the other during the um, live show that Nengi was the last to be called out. Nengi was like, yes, I closed the show. I closed the show. <laughs> but when he saw her, he was like, ah, this is my speckle. This is my speckle. He was telling, did he say new? Ah, this is the speckle. But there's still time now. There's still time. So Nengi was just walking around that, mm, that all these people that are very, um, what did she even say, was it romantic or something, that they are the worst, they are the easiest to get distracted or some, some, so uh, that was her saying there's still time, where Tony and Tricky T was saying time is going, there's no real time, or, and then also like, well, we've not really had a conversation, but there's still time, you're going to have it and stuff like that. You guys, what do you think? Talani and V thought Neo looks like Maurice Chestnut, does he? Meanwhile, guys, the Kidwaya and Erika ship might be sailing soon. They've been chilling, um, playing around, laughing, and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, so that was it for day four. So thank you so much for watching. Do share this video with your friends who love Big Brother Niger or anybody who you just know loves Big Brother Niger. See you guys on the next episode. Bye bye. Don't you know that life is full of surprises? You better realize, better realize